Hi, ah, this is Roy Jamshed. Welcome to my YouTube channel, CSCP Preparation. So I request all of you to subscribe my channel. This give this will give me motivation, and I will work more hard for you to make educational videos so you can clear the CSCP certification and enhance your knowledge of supply chain. So today our main discussion is on the five key technologies are used in the supply chain every supply chain manager need to know about that regardless of that that you are appearing in the CSCP certification exams or not you should know about these five technologies so uh, three of them we already have covered and two uh, fourth one we will cover in this lecture and fifth one in the next lecture so let's the let, let's discuss it one by one enterprise resource planning that is covered in the previous lectures advanced planning and scheduling that is also covered supply chain event management that we will cover today number four is transport management system uh, that we have already covered and warehouse management system that we will cover in the incoming lecture so please again stay with me and you will able to know what is the spy chain event management what is the why we you know have this application now let's discuss what is uh why we need a software like spy chain event management so this word is now very competitive and you need to be very planned for unplanned things if something is unplanned and you need to be very very planned for an unplanned event like for example you are producer of like a chair and tables made from the wood and there's a newly developed university which gives a suddenly given order to your retailer that is your customer so so you know have a big order here like 5000 chair and tables made from wood so you have a factory that is your internal chain look at the snap down so uh once this requirement is generated like this software is normally integrated with your your with the, your erp system like sap or oracle whatever it is you, you're using so the certain this certain application will flag the requirement will give information of this unplanned event unplanned demand of 5000 units to your your internal chain that means your production side then your suppliers maybe maybe your suppliers of the suppliers maybe that gives the color or you know uh, some certain sort of polish or something like that so all this information go along the supply chain so uh, SEM software stimulates control respond to unplanned event and expectations to the planned ev events the managers can identify bottlenecks sort the solutions sort out the solutions for example you said you don't have a certain polish available with your suppliers so you go f outside and check with other suppliers so here you can control the things hope you understand the basic concept of the supply chain event management so let's go for the definition part of the supply chain by the apex all the definition has written uh, you don't need to memorize all the application what we need you need to do is only to focus on the concept but i have told you in my last you know uh, slide about the concept of the supply chain so it's a, it's, it's a certainly a computer software application that is integrated with other applications like erp and tms or uh, you know wms this is all go through an integrated system so you can you, you need to understand the basic concept there's nothing else so let's let's discuss it some other key points of this uh supply chain event management now let's discuss about some key points of the supply chain event management remember the supply chain event management is a software that is designed to address unplanned events unplanned demands some some unexpected thing that is you're not expecting so you make all parameters um, in this software that is totally integrated from uh, that you know gives the information to your suppliers give the live informations to your uh, customers so they can 
know that and you can also know that where is the problem is what is the root cause of problem for example you you do it's trying to uh, make 5000 uh, I mean to say that tables and you know that there's certain sort of polish that is not available so whenever you put the data and you know that you, you have the visibility to the supplier the supplier don't have like the polish that is particularly used for you know 5000 tables and shares so you know have make make an alternative solution you say okay i don't have the this uh, polish available so i can go for the b c d e f g h supplier situated in another location so you make an alternative alternative planning other thing about it important thing about that is that you know you even in unplanned circumstances you have the matrix you have the the delivery time you have the prediction time so everything even in an unplanned uh situation is going through a very planned and disciplined uh matrix are you understand what the matrix means matrix means the standards oh it's in apex whenever i say matrix you mean it's the standard so it go against the certain standards like prediction lead time uh delivery lead time then you know uh pod management so everything um, in, the, in this supply chain event management there's there's every you know matrix so you can monitor things you can control things you can go for the alternative solutions so all these things you can read it down but you know other thing is that your customers get an automated email that your shipment is coming like this university got an automated email that they are they're like today are in two in coming two three days you are going to deliver like 500 1000 like chairs and tables to the university so this is how it works this is the basic concept so hope you understand because i try to make things very simple and understandable for you so if you have an issue you can send me a whatsapp regarding all the regarding the lectures so you have heard of the trade exchange it's same like the stock exchange are the international you know trade for you know forex trading like iron area like crude oils same like this one is the trade exchange their portals in the form of sas that is a cloud-based software at service so there's these sort of software services are available from for buying the product and even for the selling the product okay like for example you have like order of 5000 shares and this you have this sas you know a supply chain even management sas cloud-based software portal like the trading portal you have so whenever the demand is created the alert is given to uh, buy certain product like for example you want to buy the wood so there are like five six vendors available and you have the you already have a business intelligence in your software that is that you need to buy like per square meter or per cubic meter wood for example of one dollar or two dollars so you already set the parameters already set programmed the things inside it given the data this this may call a, a artificial intelligence to select the vendor and availability on the sales side what it do like if something is in shortage so it gives the buyer alternative uh, options for example if there's a shortage of wood and it gives the uh, buyer information that you have the um, you know alternative option available of the plastic chairs and tables so this is easy it's it sounds complex you have to stay with me you have to understand if you want to know anything you can send me an email or on email you can send me a whatsapp message but only about this you know related to this these uh, lectures i have given